Well, welcome fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here, coming today from Williamston, Michigan. And I'm down here to tell you a story about a famous murder that happened right here in this little town of Williamston. It's called, it's been nicknamed the Michigan Lizzie Borden. This is about a woman that got into a fight with her mother-in-law and cut her head off. So, yeah, and it's right here in this, this legend is right here in this little town right here. So it's a famous story. It's not real big. I mean, there is an author that actually wrote a book about this. I actually met him about a year ago, around Halloween time. So I figured I'm, while I'm here in Williamston, I'm going to do this. I'm like, I found out where the home site used to be and, and all that. And then we're going to probably go to the cemetery and find some of the graves. So travel with me, will you? Well, like I said, this is the little town of Williamston, Michigan. I've been here before with their Christmas parade. It's a real old town. It's a real famous, as I said, but that, there's a big legend here about, it's not really well spoke of, but yeah, it's called the Michigan Lizzie Board. So let's go find where this is at. All right, guys, I've found where the house used to be. They actually tore it down years ago. But right here, right here is the, it's 320 Elevator Street. Right here is where the house used to sit. Actually, you see some look uh, where the, maybe the house used to sit right there. The story is that uh, Al uh, it was Alfred and uh, Martha Haney, they lived here with his 80-year-old mother, uh, Mariah. And Martha and Mariah never got along. They always argued. Argued on and off, on and off. Well, the story is one day they, they were arguing so much that Mariah pushed Martha out the door and locked the door. And she came back and she was pounding on the door, wanting back in the house. Mariah would not let her in. And she grabbed an axe that was outside and chopped the door down, attacked her mother-in-law, and chopped her head off. And then placed her head on a platter, sat it on the kitchen table, and waited for her husband to come home for lunch. And that's when they found her. Yeah, it was like, and it was like, and then she was uh, taken to Lansing actually, and put on trial at the Lansing courthouse, the, the old courthouse there. And then she was convicted, uh, convicted of being insane. So they transferred her to um, I Ionia County, I believe it was. It was like. A uh, mental institution there. So let's go find the cemetery and maybe we can find the mother in law and possibly her husband. And maybe more. Uh, one other thing I should say, uh, tell you about was that the story that I heard from the author that I met was that you see these buildings over here. There was actually workers that used to work over here. You can see these were pretty old. And they used to hear them arguing all the time. And actually there's railroad tracks right over here too. They heard them arguing all the time. So when they heard the screams that day, they say they just thought they were just fighting again. You know, thought they were at it again. So yeah, <laughs> it was pretty twisted. So now she just flipped and cut her head off. Now let's go over to the cemetery and see if we can't find where the graves are. Alright, uh, travelers, I've come over here to Rowley Cemetery in Weberville, Michigan. I guess I looked it up on Find a Grave and I could find 
Alfred's grave, but his mother's grave, there's no information on where she's buried at. But I guess, I don't know, afterwards, maybe he moved to Weberville here, which is only about seven minutes away from uh, uh, Williamston. So he's buried out here somewhere, so I'm going to find, look for his grave. Said, this is a uh, Rowley Cemetery. Not a very big cemetery. Right here. It's a little windy out, so hopefully it's going to be too much wind. But I'm thinking because he was buried. He died. He was, you know, he lived in the 1800s, so he probably in the front section up here. So we'll go up here. Like I said, I'm thinking that he's buried up front here. They say he died in 1937. 76 years old, so he lived a long life. Now, uh, Martha, but otherwise, I don't know when exactly she died. They say when she was in the insane asylum, that she used to sit and rock herself, saying, to hell I must go. To hell I must go. And eventually, I guess she caught tuberculosis and passed away. Now, she's not buried with him. I believe she's buried out in Ionia somewhere. And the where, I don't know. I've, even the author, I asked the author if he knows where she's buried at. And he says, no, nobody knows exactly where she's buried at. Now, the only thing I can think of is they have a cemetery where, like, mental patients were buried and possibly in an unmarked grave. So, yeah, we don't know where Martha is actually buried at. And obviously, we don't know where the mother is either. Don't know why. Obviously, he's buried out here. I mean, I don't even know if he got remarried. He probably did. Probably got remarried and all that. And that's probably why he moved out here. You know, to get away from all the scandal and everything. Who knows? I mean... It's real hard to find a single grave, you know, when you're looking for them. I don't know if I'm going to be out here too much longer. It's cold out today. I almost think it's going to snow. I don't like saying that word, but it is cold. I mean, I even got my gloves on. It's cold. I don't know. This part of the video might be a bust. I was hoping to find this grave. I'm not going to freeze my butt off. <laughs> Find a single grave. And if I'm in, I'm out here myself. <laughs> like I said, I met the author of the. He wrote a book about this. And, um. He, you know, he said his book is called The Hell I Must Go. I'll put a link down to that if you want to look it up. It's our name. You can get it on Amazon. He was an interesting guy. He told me some other stories that I might look up myself and try and find them. right in this area too. He was an ex-cop. All right, fellow travelers, I decided to call it. I'm like, I was walking around out there. I was freezing my butt off. You know, I got the rosy cheeks. Oh, even with my gloves on. Yeah, it's devil winter's definitely getting here soon. Oh, it's cold out. I was hoping to find this grave and this mother's grave, but like I said, I looked up on find a grave and his mother's grave. They say his un his burial spot is unknown, but Alfred is buried out here somewhere. Uh you know, maybe some other time I can come back out and find them. Maybe, you know, when it's warmer out. 
because it's just too cold out. I mean, there, look at the wind blowing. It says it's only 45 degrees, but with the wind, it feels colder than that. And I'm not going to freeze my butt off just to find a grave. But I hope you enjoyed this little adventure and hearing the story of the Michigan Lizzie Borden. Yeah. I don't know who started it, called it Lizzie Borden, maybe because she killed her mother-in-law with an axe. You know, I guess this would be a story that, you know, anybody that doesn't get along with their mother-in-law, you'd be interested in this. But yeah, you find this book. Um, can't remember his name right away, but I'll put a link down to where you can buy his book and all that. He was a real nice guy, you know. That's what made me think about doing this. It would be a nice Halloween video to do. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Share me out. Share me out on all your social media. Tell your friends. Tell your family about me. So I can continue to be traveling and showing you stuff like this. So until next time, my fellow travelers, I'm cold. <laughs> I'll see you around the mitten.